Hello, welcome back. Um, I was just in, in the middle of doing this leak down test and I thought, oh, might as well go and grab the camera and sort of film it. But I've actually done it. Um, but I just, I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing. Um, I had a real pick of a job this morning trying to get a seal on the carb. Um, normally you can just cut a rubber and you can slide it in and it'll be fine. Um, it, it, it wasn't this time, so it leaked. So I slid the rubber up behind the inlet manifold thinking perhaps that's a bit of hold of it. Still leaked. So in the end what I did is I took it off and just put two holes, screw holes in the rubber and there you go. Um, and put it in. So what I'm going to do, because I've already done, sort of done it, um, I'll um, show you under pressure and show you what you should be looking for and then I'll just show you what I've used. I think, like I say, it's only going to be a quick video because, um, yeah, like I said, I've already done it. After, but I have, it has took me about an hour of fiddling around trying to get this, this, this inlet to seal seal up because normally like I say you slip, slide them in. Right. Right, let's see if we get the pressure gauge around the camera and I'll see if I can reach it from there. There yeah, I should better see it. Right, it's on pressure, so we're pumping air in. I hope this works after I've got the camera. <laughs> got the camera. Yeah, seven pound so we need to go up to. And obviously it has to hold it. I don't know how well you can see the. I can see the the, the um, viewfinder on the camera, but I can't see how well you can see the. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, but it's got to hold it. What it is doing. In fact, it's holding it really well. So any leaks, you normally spray water, soapy water on here, and on here, and all around your bits, on your manifold and stuff. I've got up because you can't see me. But it's still holding it, yeah. You can see it's still holding it. You can spray that in a minute. Then you let the pressure off. This is a um, oh Megavac. I'm trying to think what name number it is. There's always something in the way so you can't fold something there. Um Megavac uh, MV eighty five hundred. Um good tool. Right, so you let off the valve the pressure bottom here because that's fine and there's a switch on this side you turn the vacuum um, with the idea of vacuum is um, you pull a vacuum in and it will pull, pull the um, crank seals in I'm showing you up because I'm trying, I'm trying to get this bit higher so you can see what I'm doing not going to see what I'm doing yeah the crank seals oops uh, the crank seals um, can leak coming inwards rather than outwards. So we turn it on the, to vacuum. And it needs to hold a vacuum of seven. It's not pounds. It's whatever that is. Plus <laughs> it's pounds, and it needs to hold that as well. So that proves that the um, crank seals are good. So you can ha you can have it so that everything holds under pressure. But under vacuum, they don't hold. I don't know if you can see that. You probably see it better when you actually watch this video. Yeah, so that's holding it. I can't remember how long you're not supposed to hold them for. About a minute, I think. But uh, yeah, so there you go. So just let the, let the vacuum off. Um, and that's basic. I keep knocking it out. It's only wobbling, but I keep panicking. I keep thinking it's going to fall off. It's going to fall off. Um, I'll tell you the, pr the uh, problem with this, um, I'll tell you in a second, I've just got to do something wrong. Right, what the problem is with it, um, it's been brought in, it won't, um, it won't, it fires, and then that's it. Um, I checked the compression on it last night, normal compression, and my gauge is only showing it's doing about 70 pound. Um, but a bloke, was told it was running just before he went to use it and um, so he's a bit wary of why it's also not running. I pressure tested the carb, the carb seems fine. 
uh, tank I've done, it all seems, all seems fine. Um, like I say, I did my gauge, but I'm not too sure about my, the gauge I used last night, so it might be a little bit sort of dodgy, you know. Um, but it only reached 70 pound. Little drop of oil down the bottom, and and well, this is what makes me think it is compression. Um, but a little drop of oil down a piston last night. Obviously, it brings the compression straight back up to around about 80, 85. Um, and what it will do then, with a little bit, of, with a little bit of a little, I mean, we're only talking about a drop of oil down the down the, down the cylinder. It will actually fire up and run to it's burning oil. So I'm thinking, I think it is compression, you know. But I mean, there'll be something there telling me something different. But I think it's compression. But I wanted to give it a leak down test anyway. So that's what I've done this morning. Um, peace of mind, isn't it? Um, looking at the piston, it doesn't look no damage on it, but it has got wear to it. But the machine itself doesn't look like it's done anything. So I wonder if it's got a bit hot. I'm trying to think what I can pick up to show. I can't show the exhaust at the moment at but like the exhaust and it doesn't look like it's really done anything um, but these are little little wrote about things they've done off work hard you know um, I sit a revving the nuts out and uh, you know you know how it is anyway I want to take it apart and I'll show you what I use because I, I can't do nothing else because I've already done the job before I filmed it <laughs> actually before I take it apart um, what you need is the piston down so the way to do it is your weight on your flywheel is up and we can see that's a bit out of focus on it yeah the weight on the flywheel is up um we'll actually push the piston down anyway the, the, the pressure on it um yeah that's up i'm trying to think what I've, I've shown you this look if you look i've got a video where i'm showing this setup um, you'll see that I've probably got this plug. I can't really see very well in here today. It's a funny old light. Um, yeah, I've got this plug that fits on there. This is a slot. I'm trying to sort of show you now because I'm going to take it apart. This is um, just a rubber sheet. Like I said, I've done a video showing about these. Um, what I've slid down between the two bolts on the exhaust. As you can see, by the exhaust, it doesn't look like it's done much, does it? Trying to not to make you feel sick as I move you around. Um, and then obviously you can see that I've I couldn't get this this normal sort of thing you have to slide down the end. Um, but I couldn't get one to seal, so I'll put the hole straight through, but I will show you in a minute. Um, yeah, so you have to have that on the on the bottom. Um, just make sure that's sealed. Um, if they leak you've check these bits you put in first, what you do yourself. You know, like all the joints. And you check that with um, soapy water. Well, I have got a video on doing the petrol tank, and that's basically the same setup. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to think what else you have to do. You have to normally, if they just slot in, it's literally like a 10 minute job. I mean, I've been at, it took me an hour because I kept trying to get that to seal properly, and it wouldn't seal. It was annoying. Yeah, because I mean the machine itself doesn't look like it's it's done a lot, does it? Right, I'll take it apart and I'll show you what I used. Right, this is the inlet manifold. What I did in the end is I just made two holes through the thick, through the rubber. Um, you can see where it's been on it. So obviously that was going to seal because um, yeah, it blocked it completely off. What the problem was with it is the little holes on the other side, the, the inlet, I couldn't block them off and get the angle while pushing through because it normally slips through like my finger has and it'll hold it but just because the way it's on there with everything else on there I just couldn't quite get it there and uh, like I said I don't need to side the car but it normally, work, it normally would work um, but it didn't, I just couldn't get it tight enough to make it airtight so yeah so obviously I just thought oh, in the end I thought oh, I'll use this one it's a bit hacked about so I'll just put a couple of holes in it and I mean if you can do it that way it's better but obviously normally you can do it without unbolting everything like the exhaust just loosen it and slide the rubber down 
Uh, right, I'll show you the one for the uh, exhaust. Just looking at that piston, that's got a few grooves down, down the side. I don't think you can see it on the camera. It's got a few grooves down the side, not deep. And uh, it's got like a grey, washy colour. I'm wondering if that's... That's heat seized before. The wings were stuck in it before and I've been popped out. I wonder if that stopped out popped out under the pressure. I don't know. Hmm. Well, I think I think it's another piece. Pi I mean it ain't a bad little job on these because the cylinder's just bolted here. So you just unbolt the cylinder and pop it off and whack a new pistol on, new cylinder if it comes to it and Yeah, not a bad little job. So as a matter if they want to um, have it done, isn't it? Right, I'll just uh, take this exhaust side, the other side, I'll turn it around. I'll explain, show you, I'll take it apart just so you can see it just slides in. Let's just loosen it off. I'll have to loosen it a bit more. You do have to measure them all before you put them in, really. Now, you see the water being so spraying down it, because we're not so well, I couldn't figure out where that was coming from, it's coming from there. But you see where it just nips in there, just enough to cover it. I say these are a couple of old ones I just thought I'd try. Again, that side, you can see where it's squashed around it. Um, I've got it on there, but I haven't. I should have done a video of me making these, but I haven't done it yet. Um, these, I think, they're three mil rubber. Um, if you want these sheets, they come in um, twelve by twelve inch. Foot by foot, I suppose, square foot of uh, rubber. Uh, they're um, plumbing, plumbing rubber. I forgot what they call them now. But anyway, if you watch my other video, like I said, um, about the setup and that, you'll, that I, I did so I ramble on a bit and tell you about I'll tell you on that. So obviously, obviously you've done that. You can just nip these, nip the exhaust back up. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll actually I'll take the exhaust off and we'll have a look in, we'll have a look in there shall we? I don't know how well I'm going to get this um, let me see the piston see the rings a lot of the rings are stuck right in there there's no um, it's just smooth, you know it's just I think you're getting a bit of comp I think it's just losing a bit of comp I think it's just torn out. Even though it looks like it hasn't done much. I think it's heat. I think it's got hot. One stage as well. It's a job to do this with holding the oh, cameras on the tripod. Um, yeah, but like I say, there's only, as far as I can see, two bolts holding the cylinder on. So for me, you don't do the two bolts, slide it off, take your clips off, of, off your thing, pop your, your pin through, put a piston on, put another cylinder on, and yeah, well if I do do that, I'll let you know. Um, I'm looking at another engine on eBay at the moment. Um, so it might be a matter of building one out of two or I don't know. Right, let's take your setup apart. I've still got this to take out and it's done, I think. Right, I've been joined by Louie now. He's sitting behind the camera eating. Alright. Um, I'm going to do this bit again. I've done this bit about ten times so far. <laughs> Any more usual. Um, what we use so far? Mighty Vac. Um, MV8500. Good tool. Good tool, a uh, bit pricey, but it's good tool. Um, there are other ones in the market we can use that are probably cheaper. Uh, if you do buy one of these, try to get one in the UK. Um, and if you get one from America, obviously watch the um, customs price they put on top of it. Um, what else we used? Quit a bit away because I've done it so many times. Um, the rubber strips. Um, what I'll do is cut them down to 2 inches wide, 6 inches long, and then you cut the end to suit. And obviously with this one, we did the carb, I had a bit problem with. 
So then I just put two holes in it and uh, put that on it, did the job. And once you've got these, you can just keep them and use them for other ones, you know. I say you only buy a sheet. Um, this is the other tool you need, or something like it. You can make one of these that just fits in a spark plug. Um, remember, this is not a compression test. This is this is a, a leak down test. So you don't have the cylinder mo piston moving. That's the difference. Um, so um, a leak down test is testing the bottom end of the end of the two-stroke engine, not the top end. What a compression test would do. So this fits in there. You can make one of these up with a spark plug or something, cut it down and weld a pipe in it or whatever. Uh, the main difference is that's what I've got. It's got a hole all the way through. It's got a rubber O-ring on it, not a, not a metal washer, and that's just a standard O-ring. It's nothing special if you're, if you're making one of these up. Okay, I think mean, that's sort of like the gist of what we've used. Um, but once you've got it, you've got it, haven't you? So that's, that's the thing. Um, handy tool. And like I say, remember it's not doing a compression test. That's a completely different thing. Or, you know, top end compression, I think. That's secondary compression. And this is first compression. Or is it the way that? I can't remember. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, if you watched the video of... Um, was it the update video? We mentioned the the last update video. We mentioned um, the crank straightener tool. It should be here today, tomorrow. Um, it's in the country, so we're it's in, it went through London Customs as far as we know. So it should be here any time now. We're waiting for UPS to deliver it. Um, Bill, I think it's Bill from. BGM uh, builds garden machinery. He said, I've made a comment and said about cranks um, breaking. Um, that's true, they do. Um, um, the idea, and I looked into like the website. You give me an address and all this. What is on the bottom of that? Um, on the back bottom of that video, um, and I looked into it a bit more because I've done them before, um, and basically. It's a job to save of what they're saying because you don't know how bad it was bent all that in the first place. But I'm not going to go into that today, but I have looked into it a bit more. But it should be and we'll be doing a video very shortly. Um, uh, as you know, I'm looking out for UK channels to watch on, on um, YouTube. And one I've um, found is, well, he subscribed to me and I actually had him on Instagram. And that's UK Lawn Care. That's another good channel, so check it out. Uh, worth checking it out. Worth checking it out. Uh, mainly grass cutting and stuff like that. But it's it's English, so it's different different to the American stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm not going to ramble too much because I've just don't want to sit there for four hours uploading it. So <laughs> okay, right. Thanks for watching. What do you reckon, Lou? Mm. Right. Thanks for watching. And uh, catch you next time. Bye.